Hi guys, this is Mrs. Bastelica for our third installment of screencasts in order to prepare you for the argument essay on the AP exam. Today we're going to talk about warrants. No, not this band Warrant from the 80s. You know, She's My Cherry Pie, that song. Nope, not those guys. Also, not the warrant that the police issue for you if you are suspected of a crime. No, no, no. The warrants we're going to talk about today are warrants that are about explaining how evidence supports a claim. So a warrant originally comes from the Stephen Toulmin method of logic. He, Stephen Toulmin was a man who created a system of arguments that is uh, used by many people to create a sound argument that is to be believed by an audience or a reader. The main idea from the Toulmin method that we're going to be looking at here is how a claim that has data to support it is supported also by a warrant. The warrant is basically information that explains how the data you find, your evidence, supports your claim. So I'm going to share with you a couple of examples of warrants and then I'm going to ask you to revisit your argument essays to develop your warrants, to develop your explanation that connects your claim to your evidence. Let's start by looking at an example of a warrant from the Purdue University Online Writing Lab. If you've never seen the Purdue University Online Writing Lab, the OWL, you really should check it out. They give some great tips that I used all throughout my undergraduate uh, experience at Villanova University. Uh, they give some great experience excuse me, they give some great information that you can use to enhance your writing. But what I borrowed from, from the Purdue Writing Lab was this, a claim some evidence and some warrants. So the claim that they use, as you can see here, is about how hybrid cars are an effective way to fight pollution. They're claiming that this is true because hybrid cars cut down on emissions. Emissions are the chemicals and other things that are emitted by cars that can cause air pollution. So to summarize this claim, they're arguing that hybrid cars are good because they help cut down on emissions that cause pollution. Now the first piece of evidence or data used in this example on the Purdue Writing Lab web's website is that hybrid cars have an engine that combines gasoline with bat a battery powered electric motor. This is a piece of data that they found in their research. What they do next is provide a warrant that connects this piece of data or evidence to their claim. Here is their first warrant. They explain that the combination of technologies, the technologies being gasoline and electric motor, means that pollution, less pollution is produced. And then they cite a website, INeedToKnow.org. That's perfectly fine in a research essay. Of course, on the AP, you will not have access to any outside sources. So instead of using outside sources to connect your data with your claim, you want to use your own explanation to create your warrant. Let me give you another example also from the Purdue Writing Lab and also supporting this claim regarding hybrid cars and as an effective way to fight pollution. Their second piece of data is this, driving a private car, meaning someone's cars that they own, is a typical citizen's most air polluting activity. Well, what does that have to do with cutting down on air pollution? Well, here in the warrant, they explain that because cars are the largest source of private as opposed to industry or company produced air pollution, switching to hybrid cars should have an impact on fighting pollution. They're saying that one of the largest sources of pollution is the cars that we private citizens drive. And so if we want to cut down on pollution, using hybrid cars should help us do that. Here's a third example of a warrant for this same claim. So the third piece of data uh, from the Purdue University Online Writing Lab is this. Each hybrid vehicle can stay on the road for up to 12 or 15 years. That's a rather long time. So they here explain how this data supports the claim by stating that cars have a long lifespan, meaning that their decision to switch, a switch to a hybrid car will make a long-term impact on, impact on pollution levels. So they tell you not only are people reducing pollution by driving hybrid cars, but they're producing it, they're reducing it over a longer period of time. So 
those three examples all relate back to this same claim. I put this into your presentation here so you have a visual representation of how warrants down here create a base of support for the data that illustrate your claim. All pieces of data or evidence should be supported by a warrant. Imagine taking out one or more of these boxes. The foundation for your claim would be much weaker. It would not be able to stand on its own. So that's just a visual representation. So you can keep in mind how a warrant creates a foundation that makes your claim much stronger. Let me give you another example, and you probably remember this from our last screencast in which we talked about developing a good claim using major and minor premises. One of the claims from that presentation was that all schoolwork should relate to real life in order to keep kids focused and learning. So what I'm arguing here is that schoolwork should relate to real life. And the reason I'm stating that is because I believe that real life keep kids, keeps kids focused and learning. Now my evidence here is a specific example. Students are usually very focused on successfully completing their written test sophomore year for the driver's license. Well, why? Why are they so focused on completing that activity? Why are they present and awake and aware for the written test more than pretty much any other assignment that they do their sophomore year? You probably guessed it. This is why. Students focus on the written test because getting a driver's license means that they'll have freedom to drive themselves places. It's the idea of freedom that motivates students to study the rules of the road carefully and pay attention. Because taking the written test relates directly to their own lives, students are willing to keep themselves focused and learning. So you can see how here I'm using this warrant to explain how this evidence proves my claim to be true. And that is what a warrant is. This is what I want you to do. Take one of your claims. Consider your evidence, the evidence that you have used to support your claim. Write down your warrant for that piece of evidence. Basically, explain how your evidence supports your claim. And I have a key way to do this. Create your warrant by asking why your evidence supports your claim and how your evidence supports your claim. The reason I've talked to you about evidence today in this screencast is because when I comment on your argument essays, I'm going to state your, art, your warrant is clear or your warrant is not clear. Your warrant is strong or not strong. You really want to consider when reviewing your argument writing how well you're explaining the connection between your claim and your evidence. All right, that has been my presentation on warrants. It was originally delivered Monday, April 20th, and I'm posting it to my website on the same day. Thanks so much.